This is Twit. Let's go on to the second enterprise byte. This one is actually a little bit scary. Netgear's very popular Ready NAS line has a crazy, crazy, horrible, scary vulnerability in it that allows attackers to essentially do a, a, a command injection. Now, the flaw is in Ready NAS's front view management interface. That's the the, uh, the firmware that runs everything that goes on inside of the array. It affects most modern versions of the ReadyNAS, from their prosumer to their enterprise models. That's all the way down from the NVX, which you would have in the small to medium business, all the way up to the 4500 series, which are those monster chassis with 12 drives that are you know, crazy fast, 10 gigabit e uh, Ethernet interfaces. Any firmware prior to 4.2.24 is vulnerable to this command line injection. Now, front view fails to sanitize user input. As long as it looks like an HTTP command, it will let it through, and that's where the problem lies. This allows attackers to execute commands on the integrated Apache web server and on the kernel that lies within the embedded Linux. Attackers can gain root access, and that allows them to look at the data on the arrays, to modify passwords, to add users. And here's the really, really scary part. I actually tested this over the weekend. It allows users to add to what was a um, the flexibility of the platform, which was plugins. You can add a plugin to do, say, photo sharing or to do VPN. I, over the weekend, I was able to use this attack to add a plugin that was essentially a penetration testing tool. Now, I didn't put a lot of time. I just pulled a few things off of Metasploit and slammed it together, but it ran beautifully. Essentially, what this means is that someone accessing a publicly facing ready NAS could put a Trojan horse inside of the network. They could run a plugin on the ready NAS. They could cover it over so you don't know it's running, and it could be doing all the penetration testing behind the firewall. Chiever, let me throw this over to you. We both have used ready NASs in the past. In fact, I have an unpatched ready NAS. I'm now using it for testing out this vulnerability. How scary is this for enterprises that might be using one of the large boxes? Uh, it's, it's horribly scary. The um, thing is, though, you really ought not to be running one of these in a public-facing address space. Um, I don't dare put one of these into the wild. I'll put every single one behind the firewall. Um, the unfortunate fact of life is our friends at ReadyNAS, while Inferent and ReadyNAS did an absolutely spectacular job on the firmware, it hasn't kept up. They haven't paid a lot of attention to the new vulnerabilities that are coming out. They haven't added a lot of features. They still can't do um, SNMP v3 yet. There's no v6, or if it's there, it's really weak. Um, the firewall features haven't kept up. There's a lot of things that Netgear haven't done. And so it's almost like they've been standing still. So unfortunately, I can no longer give the ReadyNAS line a buy recommendation. Instead, that's started to go to Synology. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually the exact same way. Uh, you know that I was a big proponent of ReadyNAS. I was with them when they were in front. I, I love the gear. I love the fact that they had a really strong user community so that even if the company wasn't supporting a feature, you could probably get a community of geeks together to write a module or to fix a problem. That seems to have gone away in the past, I, I'd say, year, maybe, maybe even less than a year. The last nine months, you've really lost a lot of the user interest. Netgear has made some really anti-enterprise, anti-consumer moves, uh, trying to get people to buy the new arrays rather than supporting the old ones. And, and now this, this was such a critical vulnerability. They knew it was a critical vulnerability, and yet they didn't make it, uh, they didn't make it a, a, a priority. They, they didn't inform their customers that they really should patch it. In fact, the only note that this is a problem is if you look at the update for 4.2.24, there's a tiny little line that says security vulnerability update. Doesn't explain what it is. Doesn't explain that, yes, you really need to do this. Curtis, let me go over to you. We know that confidence in a product is fleeting. And especially now, if you've got a security issue and companies don't feel as if you're forthright, they don't feel that you've done everything you can to protect their data, you're basically done, right? I mean, it's, it's very difficult to recover from something like that. Well, if you're selling into the enterprise market, it certainly is. I think what we're seeing here that's very interesting is a growing number of companies that seem to not explicitly care about the enterprise market 
even though they may in some cases be used within the enterprise. You know, to some extent, people have been talking about Apple this way a lot. Um, we have Google playing both sides of the street, and now a company like this with their ReadyNAS box making decisions and acting in ways that are absolutely antithetical to enterprise thinking. It's hard to know whether they've decided that the legitimate, straight-up enterprise market makes up such a small percentage of their customer base that they're just not going to worry about them, or they've decided that the pull of the customer, the consumer, is so great that they can behave any way they want and they're going to be brought into the enterprise anyway by people who just plain ignore the recommendations of their enterprise IT people. If it's the second of those, then this is not only scary, it's irresponsible. If you want to say we're not going into the enterprise, we don't recognize that the enterprise should have any interest in us, that's one thing. That's fair warning to the enterprise people. If, on the other hand, you're saying, you know what? We know that your employees are going to bring us in there and there's not a darn thing you can do without it, do about it. That's a different scale of problem. And I fear we're dealing with more of that than the other.